Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Feed the Beast. As always, I'm your Rowan. Last time we had done some random things around the, uh, well, our little, I don't want to say village yet, but our nice little settlement. Uh, we worked on, wow, I'm getting some weird lag for some reason. Um, it's not even really lag, it's my mouse is acting up. We did one layer of the Thaumcraft Tower, as well as some various other fixes. I'll show you what I've done since the way I changed the floor to brick. And then I mid lag jump. I also made a second floor. This will be where our cauldron is. Today we're gonna actually fill this thalm tower and uh, work on a little bit on research. And then tomorrow we are gonna be working on our next mod or part of a mod, I should say, which is going to include this right here. Now, if you haven't figured it out yet. I'm not going to spoil it just yet, not until the next episode, but it is going to kind of incorporate two different mods. It's going to incorporate the one I'm planning on using, and it's also going to incorporate a little bit more of Railcraft. Not much, but a little bit. Uh, as you can see, I flattened this area out now. Oh dear lord. Uh, I think I looked at him. I can't tell. what. Where'd he go? Uh, bad feeling he's gonna just pop up and attack me. Now I gotta check something because my volume set I can't hear anything. So let's see here. Oh my sounds are there. I wonder if it's my headphones I turned down. That's better. Yep, it was just my headphones. Why my headphones were so low, I don't know. So <clears throat> to get us started, I still haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with the inventory just yet. Um but, if you guys remember, we need, do I have any sticks in here? Uh, I did go out a little bit exploring and was able to grab some uh, Sakura. I also got some Silver Bell and some Great Wood Logs, which are needed in some Thaumcraft things. So, we have those now. But, that's not what our plan is. Our plan is to make some sticks because we need sticks and we need a crystal we're gonna use a fire shard because we have the most fire shards and we're going to make us our very first wand wand of the apprentice and it is nighttime so I'm gonna sleep uh, I don't really not too worried about mobs spawning in this area because I have lit it up quite well I just I feel like it's better at daytime. Now, I do believe that I have everything I'm going to need to make this. We need three books. I need to go grab some of my uh, sugar cane. I guess I can harvest that while I'm here. Because we're going to need the sugar cane for the books. Uh, in my exploring, I have still yet to find stra uh, strawberry bush, so... My potatoes are growing nicely, my carrots are growing nicely, my cotton's growing nicely. We'll get here. Watermelon I don't have yet. I really need to get into getting that minimum stone. But we'll get to it. Sugar cane! You see, I have full. La la la. La 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 la. Probably missed a bunch that fell into the water, but oh well. Let's just continue harvesting this. -da -da. Okay. So we've got... I really think we only need a stack. So while we're here, let's turn it into paper. Bam. Just short of a stack of paper. Now unfortunately... Um... <coughs> Since, man, since forever now, you need leather for paper, or for books. Uh, makes sense, I guess. It makes it even harder, especially on Feed the Beast, versus, say, Hexit, where 
you can just cook zombie flesh to get leather. Now where am I going? Over here. But, hey, I mean, it is what it is. That's why I started that cow farm over there. Let's see. I do believe I had leather somewhere. Right there. Alright, so we need... One, two, and three books. And we only need the three books. I do hear a zombie somewhere. He's probably down in this cave system area back here. Uh, we need some wood. Let's grab some wood here. And let's make ourselves a bookshelf. And Kazeppi. We now have the Thaumonomicon. So, again, the first thing we're going to need in the Thaumonomicon is going to be two tables, which are easy to make. It's just three slabs and two blocks. I do believe I've got some slabs to spare. Got some spruce slabs. That'll work. We only need two of them, I think. Because those go together to make their desk. We then need scribing tools, which is a glass bottle, feather, and ink. Now, glass bottle is done. I don't think I have any glass cooked up. So let's cook up some glass. We don't I don't want to waste don't want to waste coal. You know, my viewers will love to tell me when I'm wasting coal. So let's cook up some glass. And I need a, I think I need a feather. I don't think I actually have a feather just lying around. So we might have to go looking for some chickens. Um, <clears throat> I would love to, uh, yeah, we need to go find some chickens. Okay, well, it's exploring time. Because we can't really finish the thumb tower without chickens. And I would love to get some eggs so I could spawn chickens in my um my little town and I have a little chicken farm going and all that good stuff, but for right now that is not a a thing. And I don't think we actually have any chickens in our immediate area. That's the one the one mob that I'm actually kind of surprised we don't have. Do I have oh sweet? My excavators. I'm gonna try and grab this. Any gravel I find. Supposedly you can clean uh, gravel ores and get what's called sludge, which you could then turn around and mm. coffee. Come on, game. Which you can then turn around and. I don't see how. Uh, turn around, turn that into clay. Uh, I did find some chickens, or not some chickens, but I did find some snow. As you see over there in the waypoint, there's a snow and a cave area I would like to go and explore. Oh, I hear you. Okay, I want that, and I want to kill you. So I need your feather. Uh, off camera, I'll probably do a lot more, um, chicken hunting. I'm going to actually get some hats here. I haven't changed my hat yet. I haven't really found a hat that I liked. I wish I would have had that when I had, was doing my bomb craft. But I'm going to try and not waste too much time doing this. Uh, there was some gravel over there, wasn't there? Yeah, I need to go grab that gravel before I... Before I forget where it's at, that's part of mining. I can do that, and whatever. I'll go. I'll get it later. <gasps> Ow! There's also a some appetite. I think I found it. Like actually, I think I found it near here. Oh, that's my. You know what? While we're here, let's let's grab this. 
this up. That's just going to be there, I guess. Uh, random. It went pretty far, actually. Okay. Uh, make sure we get our pipes. We're going to need our pipes for later. Waterproofing. It's, it's more that it's a pain in the butt to do than anything. So let's keep going this way. Now, I can sit here... I guess I could do it like this. Not a big problem. We gotta head back home anyway. But uh, an easier way to do this would have been with the crowbar. I could basically just pry everything up and not have to worry about it. But it's not that far of a journey, I guess. So it's not too bad. We still have to keep that one... Uh, we still have to keep the, the tank where it, or tank cart where it is for now because there's still lava inside the tank. I say here, you cows. I haven't bred you in a while. Maybe I should breed you while I'm here. That might be something else we do if I have time. If not, it'll be something I do off camera. All right. So. Now we've got our rails that we ended up using, and all of our tools we ended up using. And I've totally did things I didn't plan on doing today. Um, I'm going to throw this egg into this hole, just in case I happen to get a chicken in there. Because if I can get two chickens to spawn, nothing, then I will be set for life. Um, there's plenty of areas I have where I think I can go explore some. Now we have our glass. Let's make a glass bottle, which I do believe is just like that. Yes, it is. Okay, and we need ink, which I do believe I'd gotten some ink. Okay, inventory is getting full again. I need to empty it out. And I'm going to need to eat soon. Do I, have, I do have bread. So we'll eat on the run. Yum, 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 yum. Having barley is very nice. Um, it's very convenient. Let's see. Rail, 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 rail. Uh, pump is part of, I guess, pump. Oh, well, no, pump wouldn't be part of rail craft, but the loader is. And I think that's it for all my rail craft stuff. Okay. I do have a tendency of keeping all my doors open. That's why I try to put pressure plates in front of them. Just so I have, uh... Now I think it goes... Ink sack. Glass bottle. Other? Yeah. It might be shapeless, too, actually. Yeah, I think it's shapeless. But now we've got scribing tools. Let's get this shindig on the road. My table down here. Now, the bad thing is, this is a 2x2. Two two. So, ta-da! We're going to put a chest right there, too. And we're going to throw some paper in the paper machine. And we're going to turn this to thorough. Let's see, what in our inventory can we research? Let's research... Hmm. Yeah, let's throw glass bottles in. Nothing. Okay. Seeds. Well, no, I know what seeds will give me. Ooh, raw chicken. Okay, so we need corpius, which is food. Something else give us ink sacks do. Those are easy to come by. Alright, so we have Obscurus. By processing and heating flesh in the crucible, you believe you can create a mystical tallow suited for many arcane uses. Magic tallow. Now, 
that's supposed to give you a hint as to what you need next. And it, it kind of does. Um, if you have done any kind of thumb crafting, there's what we need. You see the 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 little I'm gonna point, but I don't really it doesn't do anything for you. That little looks like a wand. We need magic is what we need, and I need my sword back out. I did put auto repair on my sword. There's some creepers over there. Zombie I can take out. Hey, testificate. Come here. You gonna give me your shard? I want a shard. Happy if you gave me a shard. Come here. Yeah. Sweet a shard. So if we have enough time, we can actually get into that. Uh, magic tallow actually, I feel, is probably one of the best early level magics to learn. That way, so you're not wasting. Which of these will give me the most? Biz shards. Oh, derp. While I'm here, we need some iron. So let's convert a block of iron. We need a bucket of lava. Because we need to make a crucible. AKA a cauldron. <laughs> okay. But this basically gives you a use for zombie flesh. So we're going to come over here. We're going to throw a viz shard in here. Actually, just throw them all in there. What the hell? No, I thought it was magic. Hmm. Huh. Ha ha ha. Maybe it needs heat? Would that be a... Okay, now I'm confused. I do hear people walking around. Like, close walking. Hmm. Well, this wasn't as easy as I thought it was. I thought you only needed food and magic. Um, I know this gives off. These will give me some heat. Right? Yeah, they give me fire. But it allows you to use zombie flesh, which is the meat. Basically, you're converting the meat into magic in an easy way. Granted, that some, you know, you, you run the risk of. Ah, there it is. It was Ingus. We now have magic tallow. Grab my coal back out. Open this up. Ying! But now you're given this magic tallow stuff, which, if we look at our Thamanamicon now, it takes four food and five viz. So, do we have anything on us right now that gives us four food? Does not look like. So, let's go convert some of that zombie flesh that we I had just been talking about. Mm, there's some skellies over there. Slimies. I keep going to that one thinking that that's where my stuff's gonna be. Now, this does mean that we are gonna have to be careful. Um. Hmm. Trying to think here, because I do. I am going to need a water supply as well. I'm trying to think of where I'm going to want the water supply to be. And I guess I could put it like right here. Water supply, then put like sewer stone half slabs. Oh, face palm. Oh, face palm. Yeah, I forgot to get the lava. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get everything all set up, and then I will be right back. Alright, so now I have my crucible, which was just a cauldron that you hit with your wand, or you use your wand on, I should say. I have lava underneath it for a constant source of heat, 
Another option you can do is putting netherrack and setting it on fire. That would work too. Probably less dangerous. Uh, however, because I made this area sandstone and bricks, I really don't think I'm going to have a problem. And if I remember correctly, we need what? Four? Five is four. Yeah, four for that. And each zombie flesh gives us three. So if I put two in, <clears throat> that means two food and one death is going into the air. So we do kind of have to be careful with that. Let's put our stuff in there. And then let's get wait for that to bubble. Bubble, thank you. So then I go one, two, awesome sound effects, and kablammy. Okay, I got it. So as you can see, this will give you four food and one magic, which eh, nice little trade-off, switching out four food, adding magic to four food. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to get shot at by a skelly apparently. Will you get off that fence post and come see me, please? Well, you'll burn. The next thing we're going to do real quick is we're going to make a minimum stone so I can make some watermelons. So we need eight shards of minimum. I think it's called minimum, right? Yeah. To make a minimum stone, we need an inert stone, which is a piece of gold, four iron, and four stone. So this will be not too hard to do. One, two, three, four. Uh, I don't know if you heard that, but my. Uh... Okay. Again. Inventory, you're getting a little full for my taste. Empty out some of the space we have that we don't need right now. Alright, so we also need iron, which I used the last piece of iron. Oh, my first thing. What the fuck was that? Okay. So, we get that and we're gonna do the cheaty thing again where I just kinda go boink so I can remember where everything goes let's put where's my stones stone 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 there's my inert stone we'll surround it with shards of minium and get a minimum stone yay we have a minimum stone now <clears throat> so now in shapeless crafting you can take a minimum stone and basically use it to convert anything, I do believe. So if I were to throw a minimum stone in with coal, well, maybe not. Iron? Aha, it gives me clay. And there's various other trade trade offs. So let's come up here to my pumpkins. Potatoes, I do need to get those finished. Carrots, again, I'll be doing a lot of the harvesting when I get done. Cotton. Watermelon, soon, soon. Pumpkins. So now if we take a pumpkin out from here and put that with a minimum stone, we'll be giving a melon. And it takes a little bit of damage. Now if I remember correctly, if we put a full melon in, oh, looks like we have to break it. So let's place the melon down, break our melon, and get our melon seeds. We are going to need 18 melon seeds. One second, guys. Alright, sorry about that. Um, let's see, so if we get five pieces of watermelon from a watermelon, this should be enough. Maybe not, because we don't it look like we're constantly getting five. But there's 15, which is exactly what I wanted. So let's drop down here. And we now have 
My father is up and joining the recording, apparently. Oh, well. We now have watermelons! Yay! For whatever we uses we would want watermelons for. Um, there are various other things we can use. Get the rest. Not the rest. Not the recipe. Uses. There we go. <clears throat> this will show us. I'm gonna kind of. I've got like five minutes left, so I'm gonna go through all the various different things. Like I said, uh, between this episode and next, I'll probably do some research. I'll be getting some <clears throat> resources together so I can uh, start working on the next mod. Uh, at least get it started. But you see, there's 99 different pages. I can change, like I said, basically anything. Um, a lot of it's reverse going, so, you know, four pieces of wood will give me some oak wood. Um, I can use change smooth sandstone or chiseled sandstone into clay. Same with flint. Or I can turn clay into gravel. Easy way to get obsidian using two logs here. So, that might be a thing. I might do that. Um, you can use obsidian or use clay to get iron. Iron to get clay. A lot of iron to get gold. Um, some gold to get diamonds. So diamonds will be easy to get. Eh, kinda I guess. Iron blocks gives us diamond blocks. We can also do it for diamond. <coughs> easy way to get ender pearls. This is nice. Um, cause we're gonna need those a lot. Um, and the only way to do it is with four ingots. So. Get various blocks, flowers, mushrooms. Again, seeds, if I want to do it by seeds. I don't know what that is. <laughs> stairs, we need to change the color of stairs. We can turn paper back into sugar cane, or turn sugar cane to paper if you want to. Again, gravel, sandstone. We can change the woods if we want. Uh, same with slabs and saplings. And these, we can, we can give our shrubs that we might find and turn them into grass if we want. And ferns. Uh, change the color of wool. We're that iffy about wool. <clears throat> we can turn mossy stone brick into cracked, and we can turn cracked into mossy, which will help us with getting. There's changing colors. If we want to get. Um, auto repair on our tools. We can turn stone into cobblestone. I don't know why you'd want to. Glass back into sand. Applewood. This is like instant cooking is all this is. It's, that I, I really don't think that's worth it right there. I think that's actually kind of bad. Uh, none of the ores I feel are any worth anything. Nether quartz. We can again quick cook potatoes. Nether brick. Make refined iron quicker that way. We can heat up coffee. Woohoo! Might have to look into that. Just cause. More coal. Get peat into ash. We'll be getting into that later. More cooking, uh, gold clusters. I'm not sure where you get gold clusters from. Again, quick cooking, quick cooking. A lot of this seems to be cooked. Oh, impied into cooked impied. Uh, a lot of these are just quick cooking things. And turn tin berries. This will be useful. Turn tin berries into tin nuggets. Um, I do believe they count as the same. <coughs> Uh, more silver, rubber, gold, various other. What was that? Oh, turning sludge. Uh, that's just me. T I was telling you about the sludge earlier. Uh, I can turn hydrated coal and look back into coal dust if I want to. I can get my slime crystals using my slimy muds. Uh, seared brick using grout. Quick doing that. Quick. You know, just quick cooking. A lot of it's quick cooking. Uh, there are some various things you can do to change. Um, well, before we go, I don't have that much time, but I wanted to check. I saw it, so I have to try it. We have dark coffee, coffee, and gold coffee. We make coffee with coffee powder, stone mug, 
and water cell. Dark coffee, you can only use a minimum or a philosopher's stone. I think philosopher's stone is a pickup. And then regular coffee is sugar and milk. Well, how do we get coffee powder from coffee beans? Or I can get it using a coffee comb. And I don't know how to get coffee beans, so I don't know, maybe we'll find it. Apparently, it is a sapling. Oh, hill cherry plus jungle gives me coffee. So it is something that we will be getting into tree breeding. Yay for tree breeding. Yay for watermelons. Yay for thumbcraft. Yay for feed the beast. Yay. Anyway, guys, with me being a dork, I think that means it is time for me to end this episode. Do a little bit of off-screening, uh, mainly farming and researching, maybe a little bit here and there. And next time, we will be doing a build, believe it or not. We will be building our first building right here. This is where our building is going to be after I get it all up and together. <clears throat> um, I might need to cut some of this out a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. And then our second building will be right here. Um, I'm, I will spoil this right here. This is where our first automatic refinery area is going to be so we will no longer be needing well I don't want to say no longer but we will for the most part no longer be needing our smeltery Yay! and hopefully we will be able to get resources a lot easier so thank you guys so so very much for watching again I am so sorry that my outros are long and my videos more often than not seem to go past the 30 minute mark which I kinda started out that that's I wanted to stick to just 30 minutes but then I kinda failed oh well oh well um after we get automa automation done we will be doing some uh, we'll be working on some bees and some hey I got a chicken We'll be working on some bees and we will be working on some trees so uh, join me next time when I figure out where that I'm gonna put it all <laughs> and uh, as always thanks for watching happy gaming guys